Hello there, and welcome to the map loop. I'm going to give you today a guide on the, all the locations that I use, including Bluebell, up on the spur, Vampire, there's up on top of Bulk and the exit. Shortly we'll have a drive around to um, the CADs, we'll go through CAD West up to um, CAD East, I'll show you how to get up there. And there's a couple of spots I'm not going to mention. Um, Hill 15 and Corris Corner because the farmers don't like you going up there now I'm just going to leave them out I'm not going to bother with them but first off we're here at Bluebell the big mound up the top of the hill there is where you go um, it's a fantastic spot to get here um, come on the A470 come through Dinnis heading up towards uh, the Cross Foxes and you come to this big layby on the left hand side and what you need to do here is you've got two options really one you can go straight up if you're a mountain goat and that's your thing just go straight up um, the way to do it, the way most people do it is you come down to the road if you walk back down towards Dinners there's a gate on the on the on the fence line walking down if you go through the gate um, you'll see a path this does get used quite a lot so the path has been worn out quite well and what you do you go through the gate and then you walk off at a 45 degree angle going away from this big mound up here as you get up the hill you'll see a tree or a couple of trees and you'll see the path suddenly turns sharp right you literally imagine 45 degree angle and you come across onto the top of the hill at the top there um, it's a fantastic place uh, you've got a beautiful backdrop just look at that just look at all of that you go from from grassland to forest to grass to forest and then back over grass again it's absolutely stunning place this for backdrops in your image really you can't go any worse than coming up to bluebell um, take your time getting up there it's a bit of a climb um, it's doable even if you're not that fit just take your time um, some people can get up there in about 20 minutes me it takes me probably 50 minutes could be an hour um, but yeah beautiful place bluebell it's one of these must-do places it is absolutely stunning here shortly i'm going to drive up wait for that car to go past the hill on the right hand side as you're looking up there uh you've got to call the spear straight opposite you have vampire Join me up the hill in a minute and we'll go and uh, have a look at the spur. I'll show you where to park at the spur. It's literally, as you follow the hill up towards the top, up towards Bulk, there are two little layboys, one on the left and one on the right. Um, you can pull up in either. Um, and then I'll show you how to get up and access the spur. But uh, number one spot, Bluebell. I'm just going to get my phone out and I'll give you the what three words location that comes up on my phone for here. So I'll put that on now. So the what three words, let me just turn my phone back on. Um, the what three words for this location, let's wait for this car, are massaged, seagulls and resting. Um, I'll put a link on now um, yeah should be easy enough to find if you use what three words just type those three words in it'll bring you straight here if you don't then get the app get the app on your phone it's a fantastic uh, app so yeah join me shortly I'll put the spur so here's the second location um, this is where you park for spur We've literally come up the hill from Bluebell. Um, halfway up the hill, we have this little parking area 
we can park on the left. We've got the parking area on the right hand side as well, so you can, you can probably get, I don't know what, three, four cars this side, probably get three cars in that side. Um, and the way to access the spur is to climb over the fence, jump onto the bank, and once you're on the bank, you'll see a little path going off, and there's a tree, just one single tree halfway up the hill. If you watch the video that I put on, uh, with the rainbows, um, on my way down, I stopped by the tree and showed you the path that goes up. You can just make it out slightly, I don't know if you will on the GoPro, um, but you can actually see there is a path up there. But the, the thing to remember is jump up onto the bank and look for the tree. You get through a little ravine, uh, it's a little bit boggy, um, you can get through easily with boots on. Just wait for these guys to go past. Again, another fantastic place it is, but the, the key is, aim for the tree, just above the tree, about 10 foot above, you'll see the path, and it goes straight off to the top of the hill. Um, it's a good spot in the summer months, during the winter, you do get the low sun over the hills on the opposite side, um, hence we got the rainbows. Um, last week on the video that's uh, you'll see the picture of the jet Let's just look for Mac Loop and see a jet with a rainbow on the back we did actually have to turn the saturation down on the photos because the rainbows were that bright and once they'd been edited a little bit they looked fake so just turn the saturation down a bit but it was actually incredible to see it um, Normally I fluff up as I come through here and up towards bulk up the top. Um, but what, what happened with us, because the sun was sort of just there, just poking over the top of the hill, it lit the vapour up into a big massive rainbow and we had some incredible shots. It is a brilliant place. Another place I'll show you while I'm, while I'm parked here now is Vampire. And it's literally the opposite hill to the spur. And Again, I don't know if you can see it, but there are two paths. One low and one high. Um, you can go on either, really. Uh, again, another fantastic location because you can get the jets completely head on with the road in the background. I love it there, I love it there. Um, again, you can either park here, climb over the fence and straight up. Or you can go up to bulk, park up at bulk and then walk along, you come onto that lower path and then just jump up onto the high path and you go straight along, anywhere along here, straight opposite way and it is just incredible there. As I say, you get head on shots, um, you have knife edge, Hercules, um, again come down towards the lower path there and they literally come 50 foot above you and you can get level with them as well, uh, but straight head on, you can get some beautiful, like you're playing chicken with the things. Fantastic places, both of these, um, both Spur and Vampire. For, for me, when I usually come to Vampire, I do park up a bulk and then walk along. You can just see a little bit of a path. I'll try and point it out when we get up to bulk next. Um, I'll just grab my phone and find the three, put three words location for this. So, here it is now. So there were three words for this location. I've got my phone out, I can't actually access it because I have no signal. Uh, but the, the what three words I've just put up there now, they're still on, is what I've just found out on my uh, laptop on Google Maps. So the what three words will work here. I've just gone onto the, the app on um, Google Maps and this is what it is I'm now going to move up to bulk and uh, join me there um, again fantastic place up there uh, because we have the shelves up on bulk bulk exit and as I say I'll show you how to get down towards Vampire from up there so here we are at bulk 
Um, just walk it over towards the road, share the road. This is a parking area for bulk. Um, during the week, if you're up here for the jets, don't be scared to double park. Park in front of someone. Uh, there's a lot of people use it, so you know. The thing is, if you're going to be here all day, um, try and get against the back. So if anybody would just want to get out, they can get in front of you. Um, this is probably one of the most popular places next to CAD because it's easy to find on Google Maps. If you type in uh, Mac Luke Bulk, spelled B W L C H, uh, you will find it. <coughs> it's on Google Maps, and uh, yeah, it's a great place. So the way to access the hill here, come through the gate. As you can see, there are notices on the gates. There's a gate here and a gate there. Uh, please don't park in front of the gates. Uh, the farmer does have access, letting his sheep in and out. But the, uh, the way to access Vampire first, you come through this little gate here. And if you follow the path along, to the fence line over the back and then walk down to your left you come to the rocks literally just over the rocks you'll see two paths um, take either path up the hill straight up to vampire to um, get up to the shelves on bulk again follow the path along at the end of the path there's a stile um, if you jump over that stile and because this is used so much there is a path that runs up, it zigzags up and goes off over that direction. There's a couple of big rocks just up the hill there. You then turn left straight across onto the top. Looks like there's someone up there now actually. Sunday afternoon, somebody up there. Uh, I hope they're not waiting for jets, they're not going to see anything today. But from the shelves up at bulk, you can either, when you turn left at the top of the big rock, uh, for the shelves on bulk if you follow it across to the right you then get over towards the bulk exit again another fantastic place you can catch them vaping up just as I turn round to, to enter CAD uh, beautiful place beautiful place for me the backdrop here looking at this side of the hill it's probably the worst backdrop if you're going to get the jet straight in front of you um, it's a fantastic backdrop if you get them with a long lens coming up the hill um, so you're getting head-on shots you'll get them covered in vapors a bank round spur um, there is a mound on the bank just over there on the flat so anybody who's disabled or you know you, you can't get about a little, little tip for you here come on come come through the gate and literally just walk across to the bank over there just, just past where Betsy's is running now and set up there it's not the ideal place but because they come up the hill towards you you will get some beautiful head on shots um, every time I come here I keep saying I'm going to come down here and try and catch Hercules coming up um, unfortunately the ban with the RAF is still in place um, so you, you do get a couple of works through but it's not often enough to warrant stopping down there to try and catch them but uh, anybody who's a bit less abled or disabled um, you could get through here and literally just walk down onto that mound and just watch the jets coming straight towards you and straight over your head um, again it's it gets everybody out and everybody can access this place um, Anybody, as I say, who's, who can't walk or climb the hills, come here. Um, it's much better than being a cad. You can watch the jets go past a cad, but they are quite high past you. Whereas here, you will see them coming up the hill towards you and straight over your head. It's a fantastic spot. Um, yeah, so next location is going to be... Um, well actually I've got to put the what three words on I'm going to try my phone again now um, and the what three words for this parking area here on now so the what three words
for this location that I'm standing in right now is lists, future and party um, and that will bring you straight to this little parking area again we're still on the A470 um, the next location we're going to go down towards Cad I'm, I'm going to take you up to Cad East first before we go around to Cad West um, although no I will take you around to Cad West and then on the way back we can do Cad East um, and I'll, I'll get the three, well, three words at the roadside where you go through the gate to go up and again at the top of the hill because there's a path to um, you can drive up Cad East three quarters of the way it's only a short walk then so yeah join me around at uh, Cad West and I'll talk you through that location there Boy at uh, Cad West to get to here again. Go onto Google Maps and just type in Mac Loop, and it will come up with this big lay boy. It's a big, massive lay boy. Uh, we're on the road now. Tally Lynn Lake is down there. You'll probably see photos of the jets turning, the car is calling out over the lake. And if you look back this way, it takes you back down to the Cross Foxes pub um, to access deal at Cad West. You park up here, there's a little gate and you've got the path that runs up. You follow the path all the way along to the very end to the fence. Um, it's a simple walk, it's uh, it's not too bad at all really. You can get up there quite easy and then it is quite steep going up to the top of the hill uh, which is where you really need to be. Um, it is the best spot up there. This is a fantastic location along with um, Blue Bell and Spur. It's well worth the effort to climb up here. So a lot of people do come here to um, just sit in the car and watch the jets come over. They are literally just below the height of the top of the hill there which is Cad East. Um, you can access Cad East from here, you walk back down the road there's a stile just there, ignore this one, go down a little bit farther, there's another stile and then you walk up diagonally through the little ravine and then along the top and straight up onto Cad East or there is a road farther down which I'm going to take you to shortly and I will stop at the bottom where you go through the gate to try and get the what three words location at the gate for you as well as at the top um, but yeah the shots you can get from here are absolutely incredible. Um, it is one of my favourite spots. It kills me every time I climb up here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to make oh, see my teeth in. I'm now going to make me a cup of tea. Before I do, let's get the uh, what three words location up on my phone. Um, the what three words are homes with an S on the end, flattering, and soaps. I'll put them on now um, just to help you get to this location. Yep, I'm going to get my uh, jet boil out and I'm going to have a cup of tea here. Um, there are links in the description below to all the gear that I use, including my jet boil. I absolutely love it. It's really nice to come out and have a fresh cup of tea, hot cup of tea on a cold day, it's a cold day, Sunday afternoon um, I'm going to head off to Barmouth shortly to meet my daughter and uh, yeah, try for a cup of tea
So here we are at uh, Cad East. Betsy, come here. Uh, this is the road that you come along. There's a little parking area just here where you can get a couple of cars. Um, you probably get two, three, maybe four cars here. If there's no parking here, then go through the gates, you can park another couple just here. Or if you go down a little bit farther, there's, there's, there's room for another couple of cars. Um, don't block the path off because the farmer will stop access to this place. Um, he has done in the past when his wife's been abused by silly people. Um, but yeah, this is this is the track that comes up to Cad East. Um, to access Cad, Cad East, literally just follow the path straight up to the top of the hill there, and you are right on the Oys Point. Um, there's a lower path literally just over there where you can get up high if you want to. I've got a couple other locations here, namely Pulpit, which is the mound that's just down there. You may see it on the footage of the drone when I sent the drone up from um, Cad West. I will send the drone back up in a minute um, and I'll point it down towards the Pulpit and I'll also point it back the other way down towards Snake Pit. When you climb up the top of the hill just up here You'll see a brick built shed, it houses a generator for the radar equipment and there's a path that runs down the back of these trees and it takes you down to Snake Pit, you've got a big flat level area, it looks like it's on a slope and dangerous and dodgy but uh, it is quite flat and comfortable down there. Again another fantastic place uh, because as the jets come through here they then drop downhill towards the lake and you get some cracking shots. It is absolutely stunning up here. I'll just get the phone out and uh, give you the what three words for this location here, for where I'm parked. And we have resort, mimed, and punctuate. I'll put them on now so you can see it. Um, yeah. So that's it, that's my location guide for the Mac Loop. Um, I, hope, I hope it helps and uh, you come and try some different places. Um, you get different shots at every place. Um, I would suggest don't stick to one place, go around, don't be scared to climb the hills, just take your time going up and you will be absolutely fine. Um, just plan on an hour to get up and that's it, you, you'll do it quite easily. Um, it must be on your bucket list to come and do the Mac Loop and the buzz you get is just incredible. You see the photos, you've got on the Facebook pages, social media. Um, you see how close the jets are to you. So, yeah. Let's just find something in the grass. She loves it up here, she does. Um, if you like the video, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Um, it helps the channel to grow. I'm trying to, to build the channel up. Um, for everybody who has subscribed so far, thank you very much. It is really appreciated by me and Betsy. Um, we've been getting some good feedback and good comments, lovely comments of people. So again, thanks for all that. Um, I say it is really appreciated. I have got some other videos. I've took a couple of photos, a couple of vlogs already. One from Cad West that I'll be putting on the same time as this video. I did one from the Spur last week. That's also in the playlist. At the end of this video, I'll put a card on the end with a playlist on there, um, which will have this video in there. The video I took from the Spur, video from Cad West. There's also a night shoot that I did at RAF Cosford if you're interested in night photography um, with jets or planes. Um, have a look at it. It, uh, it may be something for you. The settings on there, what I use, and I do talk about how I'll get the shots that I'm on there. So please just have a look. And again, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. The links in the description below for all the gear that I use, including my GoPro, 
that's what I'm using today, my cameras, my jet boil, everything. Um, leave me a comment below. Um, yeah, if there's anything you want to see, next time I come up the loop, um, I will either come here or I'll come up onto bulk and I'll do a vlog there. So I'll add that into the playlist, so keep checking back. If you hit the little notification bell alongside the subscribe button, you'll get notified of videos that I put on there so you don't miss out on any. Um, for now, I'll put a couple of my photos on that I've took over the years from here, um, just to give you some idea of what you can get from these locations. And until next time, take it easy, enjoy the Mac Loop.